Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. In today's video, I am showing you another drugstore eye makeup tutorial. This time a little bit more glam using pink and golden. For my YouTube channel this year is that I really wanna focus on using more drugstore makeup products. So yeah, today is one of those. And I'm gonna use this palette from Revolution. This is actually the second time using this palette. I also created kind of like a blue, brown smoky eye if you haven't seen it yet i will put the video in the description bar so you can check it out if you want to see another video using it so i started with the pink color and i'm going to use this as a transition shade so i'm going to blend this all the way from my inner corner to the outer corner making sure that this shade is everywhere this is kind of like a soft pink shade so perfect to use as a transition color and i'm just gonna slowly build it up so this is the first shade um, which is kind of like a light pink and then the next shade is gonna be darker and then the next shade is gonna be even darker this is always the way that i work i know there are some makeup artists that actually start the other way around they start with a dark shade and then they blend it out with lighter shades um, I think everyone has their personal preference, but I like to start with a light color. But you can definitely try the other methods as well. So now I'm going in with this color, which is called Coral, even though it's not really a coral shade, it's like a straight up pink. When I think of coral, I think more of a orangey shade. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, but I think coral is orange, isn't it? But yeah, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna blend this in my crease as well. It's not like a lot darker than the other shade because I went in with the first color a few times to kind of like build up the shade, but it's just gonna be a little bit darker and a little bit more vibrant, I think. So blending this in the outer part of the eyelid mainly and then with whatever is left on my brush, blending it more towards the crease area and just kind of like adding more of the shade to make it darker and darker. And I'm just using a big fluffy brush, which is from my brush kit that I created together with Sigma Beauty. Um, I have it linked down in the description bar. So now I'm using the Sigma E25 brush using the color Ultra. This is brush is also included in the brush kit that I created together with Sigma. Um, the brush kit has all my favorite brushes from Sigma, which is like the perfect set for if you want to like start with like a nice basic set that has all the brushes you need to create flawless eye looks so i'm gonna use this brush and i'm kind of like packing on the product and blending it out kind of like in circular motions this undertone of this shade has more like a brownish undertone so this is obviously gonna change the color from pink to more like a mauvey dark brown i would say i don't really know how to describe this color but it's definitely gonna change it up and it's gonna make it more darker and maybe even less pink it's just gonna kind of make it a little bit more softer if that makes sense so now i'm going in with the color ibis i'm not sure how you pronounce it and i'm going to use my finger to apply this on the eyelid i always tell everyone in my videos that if you use a shimmery color on the eyelid just use your finger it works perfectly fine and it will pick up most like pigment so sometimes i go in with the brush but i always end up using my finger because it just works the best so yeah it's such a beautiful color one of my favorite shades in this palette and now for the next step i'm going to apply eyeliner and the eyeliner that i used not really a fan of it so i felt like why should i show it if i don't really like it but i will put some options in the description bar um, which are actually my favorites um, i used this one for the first time i just wanted to try it out but i didn't really like it so i'm gonna put some alternatives that i do really like in the description bar in case you are searching for a nice one so this is like a liquid liner with a liquid tip which i personally really like because it's really easy you don't have to use like a separate brush and apply it into something as like one product and it will do the job, which I like. Um, but this one was kind of like giving me a hard time. So now to clean up the pink eyeshadow, which is underneath the wing liner, I used a little bit of concealer. I used the Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline. And then I used my finger to kind of blend it into my foundation. Actually, fun fact, I did already apply my foundation when I started filming this makeup look. But what I always do when I have already applied my foundation is that I don't set my under eyes yet. I will do this after completing the upper part of my eyelid, which is normally 
after the step that I just did with applying a concealer. But when I don't set the under eyes, um, it's still kind of like creamy underneath the eyes. So when I use concealer, it's actually easier to kind of blend it into um, the foundation and the concealer underneath the eyes because I haven't set it yet with powder, if that makes sense. So after doing that, I always set my under eye and then I apply the pencil in the waterline. I apply the eyeshadow underneath the lower lash line. That's kind of the way I always work. And if I don't apply foundation, that's a completely different story. But yeah, hopefully that tip is helpful. So now I'm just using this shade underneath the lower lash line using a E50 brush from Sigma, also included in the brush kit that I created with Sigma. My favorite brush, I think this is maybe one of my most use brushes because I always apply eyeshadow underneath the lower lash line and I always use that brush so definitely a really nice brush to have in your collection so now I'm using the pink color and blending out the lower lash line going back and forth with my brush um, I really wanted my lower lash line to kind of be really blown out um, if you think that's a bit too dramatic and you're recreating this makeup look of course you don't have to do that you don't have to do like each step that I'm doing. If there are some things you don't like, you can of course leave it out and don't do it. Um, but I wanted my lower lash line to be really pink and blended and kind of like blown out to kind of have that pinky smoky effect, which I really like. So now going back in with the color Ibis and applying a little bit more of that underneath the lower lash line as well, kind of like in the inner corner part. Um, just felt like something was missing, so I wanted to include a little bit of that beautiful golden shade in this area as well. So for mascara, I used the Great Lash Mascara. Um, I really like this mascara for the lower lashes, not really for the upper lashes because it doesn't really make my lashes long. But I don't really care because I am going in with fake lashes, so I'm not really worried about how my upper lashes look because the fake lashes are gonna cover them up. I only want my lashes to be black, so they seamlessly fade into the fake lashes. So I use some natural lashes. They're not like super neutral, but also not very dramatic, kind of like the perfect kind of in between. And I use them with my tweezers and kind of like press them against uh, where I applied my eyeliner. So the last band will kind of fade into where I have the eyeliner and this way you won't really see it. And then this is the finished result. I really hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you did enjoy, let me know if you want to see more drugstore tutorials. And if you have any specific palettes you want me to use, definitely let me know. And yeah, I just hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.